Welcome to Vegan News. We're going to go over all the news this week that happened in veganism. Christine Loghead saved a lobster that she found at a grocery store sitting all by itself in a tank. They ended up purchasing the lobster for $20 and they, took, and they took it back to their home in Red Lake, Ontario, Canada, where they set up a tank for him with salt water and got him a new home and got him comfortable. But that's not where the story ends. They didn't want him to live in captivity. So she began looking at Facebook groups and talking to other vegans and she found one in one in Halifax. From there they took Lobby Joe as they dubbed him to the local their their nearest UPS uh, shipping facility, which was six hours away. So they took the six hour drive, they paid two hundred twenty five dollars to ship Lobby Joe and sent him out to a woman in Halifax. Beth Kent then returned him to the ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, and found a nice spot away from fishing boats, nice and rocky, and watched him crawl out and, and go out into the, uh, watch him go back out into nature, into his natural habitat. Beyond Meat released their newest uh, hamburger, their, their newest meat product. It is a hamburger called the Beyond Burger. It bleeds like regular meat does, uh, it uses beet juice to achieve this effect. It sold out in one hour at a Whole Foods in Colorado, uh, the Chicago Tribune reports. The world's first vegan television show, how has there not been one already, is about to debut on A&E. It's going to debut on A&E's FYI network channel this summer, apparently. Uh, it'll be out in July. It's going to be called Plant Based by Nefsika. I don't know if I'm pronouncing their name correctly or not. Uh, the article goes on to say that vegan living is surging. Vegan-friendly bakeries have been featured on many national television shows and reports, finding the vegan population tripling to 360, tripling 360 percent in the last decade. So I guess with the the new numbers, they want to get in on our demographic. And in super apocalyptic news, a new superbug has been confirmed by the CDC in the United States in a, in Pennsylvania. Um, it's resistant to all forms of treatment. It's an E. coli resistant to all forms of treatment and it is a result 100% of our introducing mass antibiotics into the factory farming system, factory farming in itself and our close proximity to them. Um, but none of that's being brought up in, in the news whatsoever. It, they're just pretty much reporting it and scaring people with it. So that's it for news this week. Every Friday we'll have news on this channel. And if you're not vegan already and you'd like to go vegan, uh, I'll put some links down below to help you get started. And you can always ask any questions you like. Thank you.